Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic and what we're doing today, I'm playing my Comfort deck, this is a deck I actually built a long time ago, I built it for the last set, uh, right before, I, I built like a bunch of decks to play right before the next set came out and this one just didn't come out in time and so I never actually posted it, I actually had it recorded, had a bunch of stuff out there and never did it, but this is one of my favorite decks that I've played in a long time honestly, I absolutely love this deck and I just kept putting it off because it didn't have anything new in it, so I decided to add a few extra cards that are from the new set, in fact it might just be Soren here, <laughs> but uh, overall I really 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 like this deck a lot, it is really fun, it's all built around Lumbering Battlement, but before we get into the deck, it's just been a long time since we talked, you know, like I just, this is my comfort deck, you know, I want to make it a comfortable place, I want to hear how you guys are doing, and just like so much stuff has happened in my life recently, that I just want to tell you guys a little bit about what was going on the last little bit. If you don't care about this, skip ahead, that's fine. Uh, but got a haircut, that feels nice. Um, I We actually, my wife, I started a second channel with my wife. Uh, we actually haven't posted anything yet, but we got the first video done. We uh, The best thing to do is starting a new channel is you want to have about five to ten vid videos done and ready to go first. So that then you can, uh, you want to post extra content for the first like two to three days or the first week. And then you want to uh, already have stuff consistent uh, going out afterwards. And so we're at a point where we're about to get all that going. So I've been doing a lot of extra editing, uh, but I'm really, really excited with what we're doing. So uh, really cool. It is more my wife's channel, so I'm not sure if you guys be interested, but I'd love your support once it comes out. Uh, and then also I, uh, I dominated in a golf tournament which is weird i haven't golfed in forever and we were in this it was a scramble tournament but we ended up winning for this this area with 13 under so that was pretty cool anyway that's it let's jump into this deck because this deck is epic so lumbering battlement five cover mana costs vigilant beast four five whenever lumbering battlement enters the battlefield exile any number of other non-token creatures you control until it leaves the battlefield then Lumbering Battlement gets plus two, plus two for each card exiled with it. So what we're trying to do with this deck is we're trying to just play a lot of awesome Mardu synergy. So this is Lumbering Mardu. And what we're trying to do is get down things like Burglar Rats, our Dusk Legion Zealot, Bio, uh, Bio Shino Pyromancer, uh, and just like all these really good cards that get some ETB effects that are really good. Uh, and then we're playing some things that just kind of synergize around all of these like kind of hate bears type of thing that we are playing. Um, and I, I'm testing out Judith in here. I didn't have it beforehand. Uh, and there might be a few other things that are better in that slot, but Judith will help us kind of have an army if we never find our Lumbering Battlement by giving everything a little bit more power. We can kind of go wide and swing in, and we're trying to just kind of take care of, you know, keeping them from being able to do too much with these hate bears type of things. So Burglar Rat making them discard, Playcrafter making them just kill anything. Uh, mostly it, it, it's a great way to deal with Planeswalkers as well. We do have quite a bit of removal in the deck with Playcrafter, with our Ravenous Jubicabra, which can be found with our Militia Bugler. Um, and then we Lumbering Battlement, put all of those things underneath the Lumbering Battlement. And the goal is to thud in our Lumbering Battlement for like 20 damage or whatever. We, we can get up to that point. Typically... I typically get this to about a 10 power, 10, 10, 11 is what it typically gets to, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a bit less. Uh, and then if we have a Soren, we can swing in for tons of damage. It's it's vigilant, and so it's really hard to get to deal with. We can also use Soren to get back all of our creatures, you know, get back a Burglar Rat that died, that we sacked our Playcrafter. Uh, and this deck just, it really works well. I am, I'm really happy with what it does. Uh, that's the same type of idea with a Revival here as well. I added two copies of that, um, and to kind of bring back a Burglar Rat again to just make Make them discard more stuff maybe get rid of another uh, another planeswalker and uh that's that's kind of the deck that's what we're trying to do get a massive lumbering battlement if ever lumbering battlement dies then we get to uh bring back all of our all of our etb effects get tons of value draw a bunch of cards uh and there actually is an infinite loop with pyromancers i think you have to have three lumbering battlements and a pyromancer or something like that so that you can keep bouncing the lumbering battlements and pyromancer will keep coming down and another Lumbering battle, Battlement, which will uh, which will also hit a Pyromancer and the other Lumbering Battlement, and they'll keep going, 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 uh, because it's whenever the Lumbering Battlement leaves the battlefield, so if you can target the one that has the Pyromancer underneath it, you can just get infinite damage. So there is a chance of that happening, but I, it's, I've never made it happen. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone that has, but it is really fun. That's the deck. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay, see how this goes, and wish me luck. All right, up against Ambru. Bring it on, Ambru. 
and oh sorry there it is i i did enlarge it myself so you guys can't see the name anymore but uh i do think that overall this looks better this is a little awkward i like having lumbering battlement we could draw into more stuff playcrafter is really awkward by itself but playcrafter with revival could kill a lot of things um i'm gonna keep this i'm hoping that we're gonna draw into more like i draw into a two drop that's the dream play this tap pass the turn sorry my arena has been playing really slow the last couple of days so it's if it's a little bit laggy i'm sorry i've i can't think of anything to do to to fix it at the moment well more lands gets us to lumbering battlements double lumbering battlement is not a bad thing um we'd like to be able to play something to actually keep playcrafter around though so that then we can have it underneath the lumbering battlement that would be butter all right well let's just play crafter get rid of relentless raptor because that is a very aggressive boy and if we can slow down a boros deck and get to our lumbering battle which, which is a great blocker against uh boros we should be in okay shape and revival just to keep bringing it back in fact we might just revival now yeah especially because we can't do nothing um they don't have anything there we might want to be able to just gain all of the life. This is a feather deck though, huh? Um, Let's pass the turn. I'm, I'm worried that they can kind of go off here. They didn't play a land though. So if they do anything, it's probably going to be like a defiant strike. Draw two cards. Which we could have stopped with the revival. But revenge like puts us to like uh, after they do damage, it'll be up to like around 30 life or something. Well, that's pretty good. Five, seven. All right, down to 15. Yeah, that's annoying. It's gone now, though. Let's just lumbering battlement. <laughs> Pass the turn. Really awkward without having any of our other creatures like we have found all of the lands and none of the creatures very awkward running <laughs> but uh we're kind of seeing another side of the deck that i haven't played before so i'm kind of excited to see how it does is this going to be a reckless rage and then they're going to fire it off again i'll gird for battle okay that makes the legionnaire really big really quick dude gird for battle with those two is insane maybe i should have killed it with the playcrafter so that, that might have been a misplay. The cool thing here is I get to... Oh, I don't I don't get to kill the Arcanist, do I? We're going to take our beats. We actually might have to revival now. And Judith, huh? Let's actually bring out... Judith. Um, I'm debating if I want to keep Playcrafter or or Judith. I think that so. I think what we do is we revival the Playcrafter. We kill Judith. Judith would be nice, but we're just gonna sacrifice Judith. It's not as good as being able to bounce back a Playcrafter with One Ring Battlement. And. Just ping face. Um, the issue is, is we have to be able to take the damage here. We can swing in, though. We have Vigilance. Swing in down to 15. We can uh, lose this Lumbering Battlement and bring out another one. What I'd like to have happen, though, is be able to play, play it and be able to put both underneath. Feather the Redeemed. That's annoying. If they have the Reckless Rage... Oh, they don't swing in? What? That's cool. All right, we like that. All right, let's play Mountain. We want to be able to keep two black sources available. We do, okay. So... Uh, Um, we could swing in with Playcrafter and then revival it. Let's just, I, maybe, hmm. We could also get back Judith. 
Let's swing in with Playcrafter. I figured they would let it through, so that's what we wanted to have happen. All right, and so now we will... Um, let's go ahead and revival back Judith to get it underneath the other lumbering battlement. This is a little bit awkward. We're not having enough defenders, but we couldn't block Feather anyway. So let's just make a really big blocker for 10th District Legionnaire. It's a 10-11. 10th District Legionnaire can get massive though. That is an issue. But if ever they kill the slumbering battlement, we get to kill one of their guys with a playcrafter. All right, sheltering light gains indestructible. Okay. They can make a massive really quick, and they're just gonna—they have a three-turn clock here. But we also get to swing with lumbering battlement. And if we get in with a hit and draw a thud or something like that, we could be in great shape. Cranko, man, this deck looks awesome. I haven't played this deck in a while. I, I built it, and I haven't been able to do anything with it since. All right, let's... Oh, my goodness. How many lands can we draw? We don't have that many lands here. Well, let's swing in. Blocks with Cranko. And pass the turn. Not going to show that we have a land at this point. We still have a tiny, tiny chance in this, in this one. They're able to scry every turn with the sheltering light. Swings in with Feather. One more turn, unless we find a way to gain life here. Tenth District Legionnaire. Dude, they had lethal. All right, we like that. They absolutely had lethal. And let's see, we have one more draw to try to find something amazing. They could have played the 10th District Legionnaire, swung in and sheltering light on the small one after afterwards, or just beforehand even. We wouldn't be able to do anything. Militia Bugler, there we go. That's at least another draw. If we find a Ravenous Chupacabra, we are in great shape. Shelting Light does make it actually indestructible. So we'd... Oh, man. We find the Ravenous Chupacabra. Unfortunately, we cannot... We cannot... Con, we cannot target our own Lumbering Battlement. Yeah, so... Yeah, so sheltering light, the sheltering light wins it for them. Let's see if they do it. We'll make them do it. And we'll we'll still swing in here as well. They got the block. All right, good game. Bummer, man. It's, we had we had draws that could have won us the game there. Uh. Being able to have Lumbering Battlement die would have been nice, but that's okay. We'll concede. Good game, opponent. They had the Ryle. They had all the things. Yeah, that's cool. All right, up against Flame 180. Bring it on, Flame. Flame. And this is more of a hand that we're looking for. That's what we want. Keeping that. Blood Crypt into, I'm thinking, the Zealot. Yep. Go Senior Zealot. The thing I love about playing um, three color right now is that if ever you find a, a uh, shock land, at that point on, every other check land comes in untapped. And it's just so beautiful. Or every other color. All right, so Dragon School Summit. And let's go... Let's go ahead and attack first. Down to 19. Militia Bugler. Bugler. Grab that Pyromancer. We put both thuds to the bottom. Both thuds were together and they went to the bottom. That is a little bit annoying. But we know that we're not really going to make that happen. Now, we don't have a way to shuffle our deck. Not that I, I don't think. 
All right, do we mortify here or do we get rid of their hand? I think we have to mortify. Let's go ahead and do that. We could get to Ingrath and steal it. We can do that later. All right, so kill Ingrath. Or, or sorry, kill there. And swing in for three. Down to 16. We are very much a tempo type of deck with this deck. And I, I really like the way that Mardu tempo plays. It's really fun. Paladin of the Bloodstained. I haven't seen that in a while. That's interesting. It, it creates a, something to draw with, but it actually still creates a big guy. I kind of like that with Mentor the Meek, except that you wouldn't be able to draw very often. Um, we could steal this, but it wouldn't die. Let's go with... Uh, with the Ingrath, that is. Um, I still think we get out Ingrath. We could also just get out the Lumbering Battlement. No, let's, let's go for a big Lumbering Battlement next turn. So, Burglar Rat. Make him discard. Pyromancer. Hit the face. Sacred Foundry tapped. Pass the turn. No attacks. And next turn, Lumbering Battlement will become a very big boy. It'll become a 10-11 again. Or actually, no, bigger. It'll be a 12-13. I can math. All right, Lumbering Battlement. They are going wide now, which is a little bit annoying. And we know that we don't have the thuds anymore. So maybe going big isn't as good here. We need we need a way. All right, Pyromancer's Cage, thank goodness. Do that. That is amazing for us. This is what we want is all the ETB effects. Yep, hit your face. I think he's just barely rethinking his uh, his thoughts here. Like, oh, wait a minute. That was a bad idea. Maybe I should have swung in first or did some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, you should have. <laughs> should have done that. <laughs> oh, don't give me... Don't take away my Soren. Soren would be really good in this matchup. Very, very good. That is the one issue with Militia Bugler is that we are running enough things that don't get hit by Militia Bugler that's it's kind of annoying, but... That's okay. All right, they're going to sack, kill Pyromancer. I guess that makes sense. It's a thing that we could block any of their other guys with pretty easily. Another Bugler. Um, let's not throw out the Ingrath. Well, Ingrath gets one card here. We could steal... Nothing that we can steal actually makes it sack, except maybe a Goblin. I think we just go for more value on board. So let's go... Let's go draw a card. All right, we went through four cards that weren't what we're looking for. Let's go... They're down to one card. We can make them discard that card now. Or draw a card. We're already ahead on value. Let's make them. Yeah, and we have another Pyromancer. I was going to play the Dusk Legion Zelda over it anyway. So yeah, let's just do that. No attacks. Pass the turn. They discarded a Goblin and Skater. Good. That would have made Siege King Companion a lot better. Let's block and block. And... Um, yeah, let's just block everything. We can absolutely win from this position here. Like, they're thinking that we getting rid of our stuff is good. Oh, make a stand. All right, everything is bigger. That's fine. Oh, and they gain indestructible. I forgot about make a stand. All right, this is a make a stand deck, and it's pretty good. I don't know why he did that. That was kind of ridiculous. They could have killed another thing of ours. But now they are... They're done for. Uh, let's... 
Let's draw a card, see what we can do. We can still play Angrath if we want to pay the two life. Judith is good. We will we will play Pyromancer into Judith and swing in. Judith is really good for us. Um Yeah, swing in. I was debating if I want to swing with Burglar Rat, but yeah, we're we're in good shape. Plenty of blockers. Make a stand. Maybe we should throw make a stand into this deck because we go pretty wide as well. Very interesting card. Do they did they draw another one? That'd be ridiculous. All right, so block here. Um, block here. Let it die. If they play another make a stand, we're actually okay with this at the moment. I guess we block there. They probably will kill it with the goblin anyway. Which actually means that we need to block here. Alright, so block like that. Trumpet Blast. Did everything get trampled as well? No. Alright, so kill lots of things. We get to ping away. So we'll kill that. That. There we go. In a pretty decent shape now. Ingrath. Deal two damage. Swing in for two. Down to four. All right. We got them next turn if they draw land. They draw anything else. Uh, Ingrath can actually steal whatever creature they play. So they can't play a creature. It has to be removal. Unless it's Siege King Commander. Siege King Commander is what wins them the game. Or they don't win. But yeah. Paladin of Bloodstain, also not terrible. They get to get a life linker. Um, so here's the question. We could... We steal this, they block, they gain life. We deal two damage to them, they go to three. They kill this guy, but then they get to kill our Ingrath. They would have to tap down though and have another blocker. Or we can just stay on the defense. We get them in a couple of turns with Ingrath. Let's just keep ticking up. No they are forced to swing in with the with the uh, vampire this turn, so no attacks, yeah. Alright, opponent just scoops it up. Paladin of the Bloodstain was a good, good draw for them there, but, uh, I think that as long as we played that safe, we were gonna win. Up against Drakstock, bring it on Drakstock. I will take you down, my friend. <laughs> or, yeah. Uh, we'll keep this. A little bit awkward. We are definitely looking for land, but I like Burglar at turn two. We have a couple draws to find land. Uh, we also have lots of two drops to find, or none of them. Burglar Rat, go. Go for it. Risk Factor, alrighty. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and just bring out Judith. Pay two life. Judith. We get to kill Burning Prophet if we swing with Burglar Rat. Do we want that to happen? We can do the same blocking, although they might have removal. Let's go ahead and try to get rid of it now. Get rid of the Scry ability. All right, takes two, down to 18, pass the turn. What I'd like is for them to kind of ignore Judith this turn. All right, they have the shock. Bummer. Uh, because Soren would be super good there. We can also bring it back, bring Judith back with Soren. All right, ping them. This deck could probably also use like a Command the Dread Horde. No. We, we don't have enough life gain for that. Oh, 
Light up the stage. And light up a burning tree. They don't they don't find another land though. That's pretty ridiculous. With, with a scry and that, so they are definitely getting mana screwed here. Um, let's just ravenous chubacabra. I'd like to hit Lumbering Battlement, so let's kill that, get rid of the more of their board, swing in with Burglar Rat. They will have a hasty Lava Runner, and if they find land here, they can play Pyromancer as well, but... They might be going for another Light Up the Stage. Wizard's Lightning, okay. Swings in. Lumbering bat Battlement's pretty good against... Um, all right, so this is what we want. Lumbering Battlement into Soren is exactly what we need for this. I should have att attacked in first there. Minor misplay. So sorry, guys. Everyone hates me now. A 6-7 is a little difficult to deal with, though. Bring it on, my friend. And especially once it starts gaining 6 life a turn. Uh, Soren, it's only, it's only on my turn that has lifelink. Pyromancer. Down to 12. <laughs> Dusk Legion Zealot. Man, if we hit a land, we could also play Sora in there. I think that's too risky, though. This is exactly why we want Soren, though. We get to gain life with Soren there. We get to take him up to six. It's really hard to deal with. We get to swing in with the Lumbering Battlement for six life, and this alone might just make him scoop it up. And that's only with one creature. And if ever it dies, we still make him discard, so we get some value. And we have another blocker for Soren. Yep, up to 19, down to nine. They have to keep their guys around because they have to be able to kill Soren. It's the only way out, but they're also going down to nine. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is really difficult for them. Lightning, all right. Hits our face, doesn't go for Soren. A little interesting. They might have been able to actually kill Soren there. Just swings face. Yeah, what do you do? What do you do? Swings at Soren. Well, we will block here. Lightning Strike, okay. Down to two toughness there. Okay, that's fine. Nothing to discard. Chupacabra's pretty good. Let's, ooh, hmm. I'm gonna go for the Dusk Legion Zealot this time to try to draw that extra card. Land, there we go. We got the land. We got the tubes. Um, tick up this time because we could actually get a Lumbering Battlement with Soren on the next turn. Down to seven, past the turn. We And we want to keep him safe, but we could have also brought back, like, Judith on the next turn. So Judith next turn actually wins the game, so. Risk Factor, we will absolutely take action here. And let's neck three. Yeah, there we are. All right, we had it. So we could have got back Judith there. Uh, we could have also got back Lumbering Battlement, but uh, Judith would definitely win as the game. All right, up against Tark. Bring it on, Tark. Bring it on, my friend. So have you guys ever played Spikeball? Spikeball is really fun. You can't really see the words there, but um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Spikeball. All right, keep this. All the tapped lands, but all the good things in hand as well. So we're going to keep it. Oh, hopefully they don't just steal all of our good things in hand, though. Let's go for Dragon School Summit. Pass the turn. Yeah, there's the Thought Erasure. Patui. I'm thinking they take Judith here. Maybe Burglar Rat, just so they don't, they don't have to discard when they're already down to four cards here. But, all right, so they do take Burglar Rat. Interesting. That must mean they have more discard. Another lumbering dude. All right, well, pass the turn. Can't do nothing. He 
Hero of Precinct 1. Interesting. Alright, Dusk Legion Zealot. There's a good tap land. So we're going to play that. Pass the turn. And let's see, let's see. Hero of Precinct 1 is really good. I'm a big fan of the card. That must mean they're playing lots of like... Probably lots of just straight removal. This could be an Absorb as well. Um, I'd rather have a Playcraft Crafter die here. And if we get rid of a Hero of Precinct 1 along the way, totally fine. But if we get this to the graveyard, we can also... Re like if we find land, we can Playcrafter and Revival if we need to for the Playcrafter again. Next turn, all right, Tyrant Scorn kills this guy. Interesting. And so they create a, something to die. That was a really good play. That was a really good play. Just kills my guy, able to create a token to, to sack. Should have thought that through a little bit better, maybe. <laughs> all right. Teferi. All righty. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Let's go Militia Bugler. If we drop four lands to the bottom, all right, only one land. So that's actually pretty good. All right, Ravenous Chupacabra is pretty good. We're still looking for land, but now we can kill Hero. And if they want to bounce that, like Teferi's really not that great against us because we like all the ETB effects that we have. Oath of Kaya is good though. And we also don't play anything instant speed. It lets them play their sorceries instant speed, which is really good, but that's fine. All right, let's just Chubicabra. Get rid of this fool. And now we can bring down Lumbering Battlement next turn. Um, we could also Revenge. Which I would prefer to do earlier in the game than later. Discard a card. Let's go with Lumbering Battlement. And I, I would have liked to have two of those, actually, because that way we could keep going with the Ravenous Chubacabra. All right, bring out Ravenous Tubes. Or bring it back. Play Sacred Foundry tapped. We have Revenge to just kind of gain millions of life. They want to bounce this with the fairy that we're going to kill the bell haunt. To fairy. All right. Let's skip to the good part. Here we go. Hmm. Pyromancer is not terrible. All right, so we want to swing first. Swing at Teferi. We really don't care at all about this one. Oath of Kaya, that's fine. Okay, blocks there. We know we can keep him down with this Pyromancer. Yeah, let's just go wide. This way we might be able to actually kill something with uh, the Playcrafter later anyway. So let's just go Judith. Bounces the Judith. Oh, Thought Eraser takes Playcrafter. Gets rid of the Judith, actually. Okay, Playcrafter gives us a shot. They do have another Planeswalker that they're fine with losing, though. No time for a break. Narset. Narset is annoying. My another Teferi. Yep, they ain't, man, they're finding everything. Lots and lots of value with this one. Mm. 
Hmm, we can bring back Judith. Do we need to gain life? We can switch life totals right here. And they're fine losing this to fairy. We have to get rid of this to fairy. So let's um let's pyromancer hit to fairy. And let's just revival back the Judith. If they want to block with both to keep him alive, that's fine. Um, if uh, Pyromancer dies here, we're gonna actually hit Narsa. All right, so they do lose lose the Teferi. They might have another in hand anyway. Kaya, Oath of Kaya is really annoying here. We would love to find a Sorin at this point. If we gain enough life uh, and we can keep them off their Planeswalkers, we still... Ugh, dude. These Narset draws. Not too shabby. Let's slow this down. Balances Judith. Do they have another Thought Erasure? Oh, puts it... In, that's right. He bounces things differently. Are they going to bounce the Lumbering Battlement? Looks like they're thinking about it. It is a 6-7, and if they have a Thought Erasure... Don't worry, I got you. Yeah, I can't do it. Alright, let's just play Crafter. Um... We could get Ravenous Chupacabra and be able to hit both of these guys. Let's just get rid of Playcrafter. Um, yeah, I'll attack there. Yeah, we keep losing, man. This Othokai is doing work, but we have to get rid of that Teferi. Yeah, lose two of our guys. It's annoying. We're just going to play the Blood Crypt. Maybe we could have got them to try to Thought Erasure. So maybe I should have held on to it. But this Lumbering Battlement still presents a really big clock. And as long as they're only bouncing stuff, they could just bounce us for forever with these Teferis. And that like, looks like what they're going to do. Um, what we're looking for is we'd like to find a way to draw. They might bring down Teferi, bounce the Ravenous Chupacabra so that we can't create the combo again. But if we can find like a, a Dusk Legion Zealot, um, a Militia Bugler with Lumbering Battlement would be perfect. Because we do have enough mana. Oh no, we don't have enough for Militia Bugler. So it has to be a Dusk Legion Zealot, which we do have to be really careful of our... Ooh, what... Nice. Very nice. Alrighty. Command the Dread Horde. And our creatures are really good against us. Uh, we're just going to play Crafter, and that is enough to scoop it up. Concede. Man, what a great way to finish that. But for them, you know. <laughs> that was sweet, though. Uh, I thought we had a, a small chance of coming back. I mean, we definitely... They were just getting more value on each exchange, and that was the issue. Um, but overall, we, we might, have had, might have had a chance there. Uh, let's let's end it there. All right, so there you guys have it with Lumbering Battlement. And I... Or Lumbering Mardu. And I absolutely love this deck. This deck is probably my favorite way to play right here. Like, I, I think it's just super fun. You're doing something that's crazy. No one really does right now. 
you have some janky things like thud in your deck but overall i think this deck is actually pretty solid um and maybe you should go for more thuds to hit him more often with everything it doesn't thud doesn't work well with like militia bugler or everything else uh but overall the deck is super fun uh maybe honestly more sorens because i was i think i was really liking how soren was playing with it it's just not very good if you only have like burglar rats and dusk legion zealots out because they just don't have enough power to make it worthwhile uh so it's more of like a combo piece that's a good synergy i don't know anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much and bye-bye Thank you.